Hello, Aries. It's finally your turn. This is Big Mama Sag from Fire Sign Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well. It's finally come time to throw down your cards for the month of July. I know it's very delayed, but sometimes those delayed messages are the ones that you need the most. Oh, anywho. This reading will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of July 2020. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it does not resonate, that's okay too. It might not be your message. So if you think you might want something that resonates a little bit better, may resonate a little bit better, check your moon rising and Venus sign readings. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. May even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And my friends, the cross watchers are always welcome here. So come on in and have seats. Without any further ado, Aries, you have waited long enough. Let's get your cards on the table for July. What's been going on with you guys? Aries, why are you here? High Priestess, you have a powerful connection with someone. Perhaps your intuition has been working in overdrive. Perhaps. Could be an Aries or a Taurus you're dealing with. She can represent both. Hmm. Okay. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Queen of Swords. can be a little bit cold and icy at times, but they're honest. Could be an air sign you're dealing with. What do you think of them? The devil. This is a powerful connection indeed. Could be a Capricorn. Doesn't necessarily have to be. If it sets off an alarm in your brain, okay. It's a powerful binding connection. Possibly a little bit toxic. Possibly a little bit obsessive. Maybe you feel like they're a little bit obsessive. Or think they're a little bit obsessive. Okay. What do you want from them? The Emperor. That's your card. Okay. Huh. Perhaps you want them to get a handle on things and get control of their life. Maybe you want to get control of your life. Maybe things are a little bit out of control or were a little bit out of control and you just wanted to get a handle on things. Take charge, perhaps. How do they feel about you? The hermit. Oh wow, you're their light. Perhaps they feel like you were a light upon their path. Hmm. Maybe you made them go inside and do a little bit of introspection of their own. That's pretty cool. What do they think of you? Five of Pentacles reversed. Maybe they feel a little bit out of the cold, or out, mm, a little bit out in the cold of you, like you booted them out into the cold. Just kind of left them hanging out there. Maybe you ghosted, or they ghosted. Feel some ghosting energy here. They definitely want to come in out of the cold, or they think that's what you want. What do they want from you? Nine of Pentacles. They want to be independent of you. Or they want you to find your independence. To find your abundance. Okay. What's the obstacle in this connection? Three of Pentacles, the foundation was the obstacle. The coming together. 
in a cohesive manner. Okay. What can be done? Nine of Wands reverse. Walls need to come down. Hmm. Okay, let's get some clarity. Get some clarity for my Aries friends. Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get some clarity on the cards in the table for my Aries friends, please? Why is the Queen of Swords here? Hi. King of Cups. Queen of Swords reversed. Five of Pentacles. You feel... They have an overwhelming emotion for you, and I think you feel that. But they got a crappy attitude. I think they can can be extremely cold and extremely icy and extremely attitudinal at times toward you. Perhaps you feel like they booted you out into the cold. Like they just went ice queen on you. Cut you out. Huh, okay. Okay. Why is the devil here? Four of Swords and Justice. Laying something to rest, regaining balance. One more. Magician. Huh. So they got toxic and obsessive, but they're laying it to rest. Things are just in rest mode right now, trying to regain balance. Huh. Maybe you are dealing with a highly intuitive person. The magician is very gifted. Just so we're aware of that. He is a very gifted individual. Knight of Pentacles reversed. This just ground to a halt. I think it ground to a halt very quickly. You got toxic. For whatever reason, it got toxic. You think they just had to get their bearings back and manifest new things into their life. Why is the emperor here? Maybe you thought it was time to manifest new things into your life. Why is the Emperor here? Three Swords. They're dealing with a heartache still. This was very painful. Maybe you want that pain to come to an end for them. Ten of Swords, Ten of swords right there in the upright. You want their painful cycle to end. You want them to get through this heartache. You want them to get their life back. 
to get their life back on track. That's beautiful, Aries. That's so stoic. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Wanting the best for someone. That's beautiful. Why is the hermit here? Why is the hermit here? Seven of Wands reversed. They feel like you were definitely battling some inner demons. The sun. But you brought sunshine into the... You were the light. You brought sunshine into their life. And they also feel the very powerful connection with you. But you had some inner demons. Perhaps for some of you, you stirred their inner demons. Take it however it resonates. Cross watcher if you're watching and that struck an alarm in your brain. Okay. Why is the five of pentacles? That's five of pentacles reversed here. Two of Pentacles in the upright, Two of Swords in the reverse. A painful decision was made to try to regain and restore balance. Mirror. Mirror, mirror, mirror. And that meant having to put someone out in the cold. Wow. Hmm. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? The Emperor. Mirror, 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 mirror. I love it. I love it. One more. If you want the best for each other. That that's great. Equal equally stoic. That's beautiful. You two should go out and have a cup of coffee. You really should. Coffee, I don't know, some Mexican or Chinese food, I don't know. Oh my god. Ace of Cups, Two of Cups. Then this could swing one of two ways. Either they want to reconnect with you, or they want you to find a connection that makes you truly happy. That's awesome. That's awesome. I'm ready to cry for you right now, Aries. I just want to hug you. Oh my God. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? King of Wands. That can also be an obstacle because that can swing one of two ways. Building the foundation was the obstacle. Maybe someone wanted it more than the other person. Someone was go, go, go. Can I get one more? Foundations that last have to be built slowly. And I think someone tried to move a little bit too quickly. Oh, oh, oh. That's the card. Shadow side. Little bit of obsessive energy. Little bit toxic. Can I get one more? One more for my Aries friends. Okay, two. Seven of cups, ten of cups.
Perhaps someone was exploring options. The obstacle was happiness. I don't think you weren't equally happy. Like it became obsessive and it became toxic. And one of you was happier than the other. The seven, and, that's not balance. It's not balance. It was not balanced. This king of wands just throws the balance off the entire thing along with that devil card. I think someone tried to move too quickly to happiness. Okay. Sticking to my elbow. Why is the nine of wands reversed here for what can be done? Okay, that's a simple one. That's two. Five of cups, page of wands. Getting through the sadness, allowing walls to come down. Moving forward on the path. I don't think one of you processed the pain with this. I think you just built walls. I think there's some pain that needs to be processed before things can move forward. Before you can even move forward to your individual happiness and your independent happiness. Feelings need to be processed with this. Nine of Wands reversed again. Walls have to come tumbling down. You have to allow yourself to be vulnerable. I know. I'm saying this to Aries. I get it. I'm not putting you on blast, baby. I'm not. I'm not. But being vulnerable is not your strong point. Because you always have to be the strong one. No, you don't. It is okay to be sad. It is okay to stop for a minute and process an emotion. Properly process an emotion. Okay. We're leaving that one alone. Let's get your advice. Page of Swords reversed, Sun reversed. Let's throw a couple more on that. Two of Cups, Six of Cups, okay. This is a soul connection. This is deep. If I play it off that, I play it off that, and I play it off that. And that this is deep, guys. And this, I think this is you guys have been playing together for a while, a few lifetimes. And this connection is important. This connection was at the very least meant to teach you something. And there's so many happy memories. So. Closing off communication and ignoring the connection it needs to be acknowledged and it needs to be nurtured. It does. Because obviously you just want the best for each other. A couple more on that. Five of Cups in the Death Reverse. Until you process these emotions, nothing is going to change for either one of you. Neither one of you get your healing your wish until you process this. Wow. Okay. You can't evolve spiritually if you're stuck there. And you will stay stuck until you allow those walls to come down and you allow yourself to feel emotion regarding this. It you have to let it hurt. You have to let it hurt. 
Seven of Swords, Ace of Swords. The truth has to come out eventually. No more shady stuff. If there was lies and deception involved in this, can't be playing that anymore. The truth needs to come out. The Tower, Upright, Five of Wands reversed. Avoiding that tower, av avoiding the tumble down, and avoiding confrontation, you gotta let the tower fall. You can't avoid it anymore. Nine of Cups reversed, Four of Pentacles in the upright. You have to fill your cups with positive energy and positive things. Avoid overindulgence. And don't hold on to this anymore. If you keep holding on to this and filling your cups with the wrong things and allowing those walls to stay up, this is never going to, it's not going to go away. You have to let the tower fall. You can't avoid it anymore. So stop trying to avoid it. If a conversation needs to be had, if a fight needs to be had, okay. It's got to happen. It's got to happen. Just let it happen. Weird advice. Weird reading. Weird energy. I don't know. Let me know what happens, though. But this is what I have for you guys this month. I wish you the best. Let me know. I will catch you guys in week, week and a half, two weeks for your August reading. As I'm finally getting my energy and my mojo back. Releasing what I need to release and getting what I need to get done. So, I wish you the best. Thank you so much. Love you to pieces, Aries. Thanks for coming by. Catch you later.